How's it going, everybody? You got Bison here back with another review. It is of Manuel Neuer, and after a lot of time, I finally have a Manuel Neuer play review. This is going to be pretty interesting. He costs about 160k at the moment. He's going down because of the Black Friday uh, pack openings. However, I'm reviewing this card. Is he the best in the game? Does he deserve this 90 overall rating? We're going to find out. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And here we go. This review is underway. So, there is one word I can use to describe this card, and it is this. Overrated. By a ton. I was so shocked when I used this card. When I saw him, for a goalie that was this much for his regular card, you would expect him to be simply incredible. 90 positioning, 86 reflexes, 87 dotting, those are stupendous stats. But in-game, it became very obvious very quickly that he's overrated. I don't know if he was nerfed or something, but he doesn't live up to it, and I'm going to explain why. I think his reflexes were the biggest problem for me. It was in 86, but the main thing I'm going to be talking about in this review is that he didn't live up to any of his stats. He reacted later than I expected. It really felt more like 80, 81, 82. It just was very slow and laggy at times. With shots near post and far post, he would react a little bit slower. And even on one-on-one -on -one chances, his reflexes were the best on one-on-one -on -one chances, but the problem was he would not take good angles to the ball. There would be a lot of times, and this is a goalie who has 90 positioning, where his positioning would be a little bit off. He wouldn't take a good angle to the ball. He would leave a little bit too much space to one side or another side. The reason why I'm being so critical of this card is because he's a 90 overall. Look at the reflexes there, a little bit late. He was inconsistent, he didn't make any saves that wowed me, and this was a goalie who was the best goalie in the game last year. This is a good save, well, he takes a good angle to the ball and has a good reaction save, but then on this next one, goes in near post. Bad reactions, not good positioning, and near post shots were a theme with this card. Again, on this time, his reflex is a little bit late, positioning not great, and it goes off of his hands and into the net. His diving is okay. He does have the ability to soar across net, but because of his reflexes and positioning being as inconsistent as they are, his diving isn't always evident. One bonus, if you care about this, he can throw the ball pretty far and kick it pretty far, but compared to last year, this card was a big disappointment. What I feel like is that FIFA tried this card out and he was so good in the test that they probably nerfed him, because look at his stats, they're just insane, in-game, not worth it. The Bundesliga is full of incredible goalkeepers like Weidenfeller and Adler, so I recommend you try them out because they are so much cheaper and they don't provide the disappointment that Neuer did. He's not a terrible goalie, there's positives with him. His reflex and positioning though were too inconsistent for me to give him a high rating. 160k, you want him to live up to his stats. He did not. Neuer is not the best goalie in FIFA anymore. I am sorry, that is my experience and that is how I saw it. For the final rating, I'm going to give Manuel Neuer a 7.3 out of 10. I know it is a low rating. He's not a terrible goalie, however, based on the expectations and the large price, I did not find him to be worth it and I feel like this rating is deserved because he fell well below my expectations. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.